The second outcome is that the capacity of government officials to implement reforms so that the rights and the tenure of local communities are secured, this capacity has to be strengthened and has to be improved. There has been that problem with getting to communities and because of this, communities have suffered. They have been grappling with registration, with, you know, very many processes and procedures that they do not know. And I think this is where I think this report will help us see where we can make interventions, where we can be assisted to make sure that we are able to bring these processes to an end. Under the tenure reforms, we've had the decentralization of power from the central government to the local government, and we have the district forest service, where we're having districts or the local governments in charge of forests within their jurisdiction. So those particular agencies are in charge of looking at those particular forests under the regime of districts, but also helping private forest owners manage their forests and community forests. So we've had cases like in Masindi, where private forest owners have been organized into private forest owners association to tap into the different developments, especially in the climate change arena, and also community forests being organized and registered to give access and use to the communities, formally. In some instances, government has also supported the registration and declaration of community forests. And in these communities, Capacity of forest management entities have been built and empowered to negotiate for their rights. In December, the planning for activities for next year will be set in motion and that planning process always attaches budgets to activities. And there are several activities it could do. One would be capacity building of officials in order to increase their understanding of the links between tenure, ten, uh, tenure security and uh, some of the outcomes that the, that the law or the reform was aimed at. The other aspect of capacity building would be around gender and the integration of gender into reform implementation.